On top of another developing story out of Highlands County, today the Sheriff's Office announced two ways that you can pay your respects to fallen Deputy William Gentry Jr. He was shot in the head on Sunday while responding to a domestic call between neighbors. He died on Monday afternoon. Highland Sheriff Paul Blackman talked briefly today about the case, saying the gunman accused of shooting him is now charged with first degree murder. He went on to share memories and a conversation he had with Deputy Gentry when the department retired his canine partner. So I'd asked William, you know, do you want another dog or, or you know, what's what's going to happen with that? And uh, he said, well, well, what am I going to tell Ronnie? And Ronnie was his canine, his canine at the time. I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, Ronnie would have his feelings hurt if I went to work every day and left him at home and took another dog to work. So Deputy Gentry, amazingly enough, made the decision that day that he wasn't going to hurt his dog's feelings. So, so he retired out of the canine unit and went to be a detective force for a while. So it was, uh, that's just the kind of person that he is, uh, uh, an awesome individual says a lot about that yes, man, doesn't indeed. it? Deputy Gentry's SUV will be parked outside the sheriff's office in Sebring until he's laid to rest. If you want to express condolences and remember him, there will be a candlelight vigil tomorrow night at 8 o'clock at Fireman's Field in Sebring. His public law enforcement memorial service will be at 11 next Tuesday, May 15th. The sheriff's office expects hundreds of law enforcement officers from across the state. It will be held at the Highlands News Sun Center. The sheriff said that day could change, though, because Deputy Gentry is an organ donor, and right now they're finding the best match for his organs. Two deputies will remain with his body until he's laid to rest.